brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, Jesus makes one thing clear about himself, that he is, quote-unquote, something greater, something greater than anything and everything else, more wise than the wisdom of Solomon, greater a prophet than that of Jonah. And yet, despite the fact that the Son of God was in their midst, teaching and preaching, and trying to simply be with them and build a relationship with them, they, on their parts, were focused on something else. And as soon as they did that, they focused themselves on something lesser. They wanted a sign. They wanted proof, authentication, something that would verify for them that Jesus was who he said he was. And in doing so, they shift their focus away from Christ and missed out on what it was that he was saying. Jesus said when Jonah went to the Ninevites, he preached a message of repentance. He gave them no sign. He simply preached God's word. They listened and they repented. He's saying, here I am, the Son of God, in your midst, trying to teach you, trying to be with you. And you're rejecting everything I say on a search for a sign, and a sign will not be given to you. So all you're looking will be for absolutely nothing and all that energy wasted. As Catholics and as Christians, we know and we accept that Jesus is the Son of God. Yet even in our own lives, we can focus ourselves away from Christ and to something else, or focus ourselves away from something greater and to something lesser, whether it be searching for signs in our own life or simply getting distracted by the things of this life. And that's why we have this season of Lent, a time where we pray, fast, and give alms. When we fast, we deny ourselves the things of this earth. When we give alms, we give of ourselves to help others. And when we pray, we focus ourselves completely on building a relationship with Christ. And in doing so, we move away from the lesser things into something that is greater. Because any time we focus ourselves on Christ, we are focusing on something that is truly great. And any time we lose our focus, we move from something great to something less. May we continue to focus ourselves completely on Christ throughout this Lent, and may our relationship with him grow. And in doing so, we will be truly moving to something great. <laughs>